All right, we have a trade, an actual trade here. The New York Giants are getting a second round pick and a fifth round pick for Leonard Williams. Leonard Williams, the guy who ha does have an 11 and a half sack season to his name as an interior defensive lineman. He did that back in 2020. Since then, the overall numbers haven't been as impressive in terms of box score stats. Uh, you know, next highest uh, he's had since then was a six and a half sack season. Um, he did have, uh, you know, uh, again, been a solid player for the uh, for the Giants, but now going to Seattle, only one and a half sack on this season so far this year. So again, numbers aren't really, you're not lighting up the, the box score uh, stat sheet, uh, but I still think he's, he's a he's a benefit uh, to whichever team he's playing for. You know, his PFF grades have been pretty consistently kind of around 70 throughout the course of his career. Definitely known for being a pass rusher from the inside, but a good enough run defender as well. So, you know, you can get some pass rush there, which feels to be what Seattle is hoping to accomplish here. Now, Seattle actually hasn't been bad at rushing the passer this uh, season, but I think they're looking for someone who can do it on the inside. Because, you know, uh, Boye Mafe, Ochenna Nwosu have both uh, had uh, solid season so far. On the inside, though, uh, you know, they have Draymond Jones and uh, Jaron Reed, who I think they both like more as uh, interior uh, run defenders. You have Mario Edwards as well. I think they're hoping Williams can add some uh, juice to that interior defensive line, uh, which is what they're doing by uh, by going after him here, which is fascinating. So another interesting thing is just the, the contract details. We always have to wait and see how much money uh, is actually changing hands because if you have a, a regular situation of a trade, the way it is supposed to work is this is the last year of Williams' deal. So it makes sense to trade him now. Uh, typically, the way it would work is that you have uh, you know, 14 million in dead money, and then the Seahawks would take on 18 million. That's how it's currently set to work. Although, again, these things can be changed. And if I'm the Giants, I'm probably taking on the entire contract just to try and, you know, make it work so that way we can get the most value back possible. Because if you're not doing much this year anyway, you know, what's cap room doesn't matter. Uh, let's, you know, add more value. Uh, although, again, uh, does the owner want to give up money for a player to not going to, you know, it's not going to help them. All that stuff gets is factored in, but still, um, interesting trade. Definitely an interesting trade from Seattle, who's trying to they're trying to win, and they feel like this is a way that they can, um, you know, a player who could help them win. And at the end of the day, I think more teams should do this. I think the teams should be looking to go out and try and, you know, uh, w win football games by trades here at the trade deadline. If you think you're good, well, then add someone who can help them. And I feel like they, I feel like, you know, Williams. Again, you could argue if it's an overpay or not. My gut is it's a bit high. Uh, that's kind of how I feel. It's a bit high for someone who's really a pure rental at this point and isn't necessarily a superstar level player. But uh, again, Seattle loves their defensive linemen and they feel like they, he can help them. So I'm not going to uh, criticize trying to win now uh, for Seattle. So yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.